A momentous day in Hartsville history as the nuclear cooling tower, which stood 540 feet tall for nearly five decades, was demolished this morning. News 2's Audrey Mayer explores the history of nuclear energy in Tennessee and what the tower meant to people in Hartsville. It's the end of an era for Tennessee nuclear energy. There it is right there. While the Tennessee Valley Authority charts a new course for the region's future energy needs. I think TVA has realized over the years that that uh, that cooling tower was not going to really serve any useful purpose. Uh, we were not going to complete any of those four reactors that were early under construction. That that site is is used for a number of other things and it was really just in the way. For Hartsville locals, the nuclear cooling tower was a landmark, which represented a time of job creation and economic prosperity. Is you know my father actually built that thing. Kelly Key remembers his father working at the site when Kelly was in high school. What I really remember was, you know, we owned a farm and uh, we were in debt. And that job was so good and so opportunistic that it probably saved the farm. Kalina Robinson's parents also helped with the tower's construction. Many people came in to this area just to work. And then when it was decommissioned in 84, the uh, mom and dad drew unemployment for a little while and, um, you know, until they could find other work. The TVA says at one point they had about 17 nuclear reactors either planned or under construction across the region in the 70s and early 80s. Today, they have seven total, including two Two in Tennessee. We're, we're undertaking a new nuclear uh, renaissance uh, where we're looking at uh, small modular reactors, you know, smaller units than, than the big ones that, that we've previously built. Now in 2025, nuclear energy makes up about 40 percent of TVA's annual power generation. And the TVA is still planning to build more power plants in the region, including a natural gas plant proposed for Humphreys County. The TVA expects to generate enough power for nearly four million more homes over the next decade. Audrey Mayer, News 2.